So, Fireball, I just talked to the director, okay? Okay. You're gonna drive, you're gonna crash into the wall, and then the car is gonna catch on fire, and then the fire is gonna get on your whole body, okay? And you're inside the car, it's, inside the I'm car. I'm gonna be on fire. You're on fire. We'll, 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 we'll put a Nomex on you, we'll put a gel on you, okay? Okay. And you are gonna be completely on fire inside the car, right after it hit the wall. And then, as the fire gets bigger, I, I've never really done that before. I mean, I, it, I got this. Don't yeah. worry, I got this. And then you're gonna get out, run out, climb the building, and when you're on top of the building, you're completely engulfed, and you gotta jump into the swimming pool so that you you could be put out, okay? But inside the swimming pool, there's gonna be sharks and alligators. <laughs> you could do that, right? Yeah, that's it. That's gonna be one of the best stunt that. Hey, hey. Hey! Here we go. Try it again. Oh. There you go. Was it locked? <laughs> no one. <laughs> it's uh, it's one of those trick things that it's it's a technological marvel. Uh, yeah. It's also frustrating at the same time. Wow, nice car. How are you? Thank you for joining. Good. We are driving the 2014 Cadillac ELR. Their electric Cadillac. Smooth. You didn't even hear me coming, did you? No. All right, welcome back to 5 Minute Drive. I am your host, Fireball. I am very excited today because we have a super cool guest, a very good friend of mine. Uh, this is Master Simon Ree. Um, Simon, thank you for joining me on the show. Awesome, welcome to 5 Minute Drive. My pleasure. Uh, Simon has a, a tremendous background as a, uh, a stuntman, actor, uh, so much so that I printed out your, your IMDb page and it turned out to be seven pages. I have no idea. I really, I have no idea. I have that much. But you've done Inception, uh, Dark Knight Rises, Captain America, um, Starsky and Hutch. The list goes on and on, right? It just, it's like a blur now. But I think I'm mostly known for best of the best. Oh yeah, yeah. right, and yeah. My character was Dehan, the uh -huh. guy with the eye patch. Right. And even we shot that movie back in 1989. The movie came out in 1990. I still get calls and emails and letters from fans all over the world. Wow. Yeah. For wow. me, it's the camaraderie with the stunt people. Mm -hmm. Knowing that in three seconds from now, I'm gonna set my whole body on fire. And. My safety. I, I can safely say that no guest has said that yet. <laughs> and, and my safety, my life is going to be in your oh, hand yeah, sure. to put me out. Sure, sure. This is based on the, the uh, Converge concept car that they did. Mm. But it has Whoa. a lot of torque. Wow. 275 foot pounds. So it can haul ass if the cat like does. But you don't hear it coming. It's so quiet. You know? <laughs> Ready? 
New Orleans. You were uh, you were doing something interesting there. I was working on a movie called Terminator Genesis. We're not allowed to talk about that, right? No. no. Well, we'll talk about it, but um, we just won't tell anybody. Okay, that's fine. Arnold Schwarzenegger's back. Yeah, you know, he's, he's original Terminator. So right. I think it's gonna be a great, great movie. And what did you get to do on it? I got to double this Korean actor, Pyong Han Lee. Uh -huh. And then uh, that was the first month, second month, I was doing all these stunts where I played soldiers and I was doing all the, I was doing all the stunt driving. Did, did and, you, uh, okay, go keep and going. And then third month, I was the fight coordinator. Wow, no kidding. Yeah. And who did you get to, uh, um, to work with? I worked with an actor named Jason Clark. Right. And uh, he plays... He's playing the lead. He's playing John Connor. Okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And how was that? You know, I really had a great time. Yeah. And Arnold, he's got so much charisma. Yeah. And he's definitely a man's man, you know. <laughs> and how did he respond to you um, uh, coming up with the moves and and uh, not necessarily training him because he's you know he's got a lot of a lot of uh, experience right. at crushing things. Right. He likes to like grab and throw and smash, <laughs> but our director and producer wanted something a little bit more unique. Uh -huh. So, something that the audience hasn't seen yet. Right. So, it was kind of challenging for me to come up with something new and convincing Arnold to you know, try something different. Yeah. So, that was challenging, but it, it happened. So yeah. It all worked out nicely. That's all I'm going <laughs> to tell you. Tom, I'm doubling Jackie Chan in Rush Hour 3. And we were up in the air 60 feet and we were supposed to untangle and split open. Right. I, ho I hope the uh, camera can see this. And as we were untangling, the we were supposed to open up but I stayed in the bottom and the line went like that. So the line came inside my, uh, right underneath my rib into my internal organ. Oh. Luckily it didn't cut. Yeah. But when I went to an emergency hospital, the doctor told me all my internal organs got shifted. <laughs> so he said it's going to take about two weeks for that to come wow. back to normal. Another time with me and Chuck Norris' son, Eric Norris, uh -huh. we were in Universal Soldiers. And we had to jump out of a moving helicopter about 80 feet up in the air into the Hoover Dam. <laughs> and even though it's water, when you land on that, oh, yeah. it hurts a lot. Yeah, yeah, like concrete. Yeah. You have a dojo that's been going on for years. 34 years. 34 years. Same spot. Uh, Calabasas? Woodland Hill. Woodland Hill, okay. It's uh, on Ventura Boulevard. Right. Half a block west of Fallbrook. And I've had the pleasure of been, uh, having been taught by you, which oh. has been a uh, tremendous right. experience. You and your wife. You Absolutely. Very good students. But uh, you, uh, what is the secret to have a dojo for 34 years? I mean, that's not something that is normal for, for most karate schools. I think the secret is honesty. There are some studios that would pass and give the belt away. Yeah. I don't do that. You have to earn it at my studio. Yeah. And if you don't like it, you can quit. Because I don't need a student like you. Yeah. you know? I think a lot of schools are afraid that they'll lose students. Yes. And I've seen them where they're, they want to be friends with their students or uh, they don't want to push them too hard. And I think that's a disservice. Yeah. They call cut. Mr. Norris came towards me to say hello. You know, that's that's a gentleman. Yeah, he's, sure. He's, I just love him so much. As long as it wasn't charging punches. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would you say to, to some young people that are that want to get into the stunt world? 
and um, who are struggling right now, you know, they're, they're, they're watching this or they're watching uh, stunts be performed in movies, mm -hmm. and that's what they want to get into. What are some steps that they can take? They must have a skill, whether it's martial arts, gymnastics, parkour, motor, you know, extreme motorcycle riding. Mm -hmm. uh, he knows how to do like a really uh, precision drive. So where can people go to see more of Simon Reed? That's kind of a rhyme. <laughs> but uh, where can people go? They, they could come to my studio, or they could go to my website, simonreed.net. And that's for the dojo? Yeah. Okay. And um, Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they, want, uh, if they want a lot of reading material, they can go to your IMDb, which goes on and on and on. Awesome. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Cool. I enjoyed it, too. It's good to see you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having a good time. And, uh, uh, causing and, trouble as much as possible. And you look so much younger without your beard. I'm also much more aerodynamic. I can look a lot faster. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs>